So today's video is going to be super, super exciting. This is my long awaited and my most highly requested video ever. It is my closet tour. So I'm going to be showing you bags, shoes, my clothes, yeah, everything. And as you can see from my closet, it's quite narrow, but it's pretty long. And I didn't design this closet. We've been in this house probably about seven years. So this came with the house, but I'm so grateful that I do have this space to work with. So let me show you all my goodies. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Mel. If you like closet tours, give this video a thumbs up and I would love for you to join my family. And all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell if you wanna be part of my notification squad, which we affectionately call family. So let's start off with the best thing first. So this is my makeshift bag display unit for now. It is just from Ikea, but it works. I had a very narrow space to work with. Unfortunately, this cupboard did not come with like a dedicated bag area, but it works because I love to see my bags displayed. And a lot of you ask me, how do I display my bags? And this is how I display my bags. I do not put them in dust bags because yeah, I just like to see everything. The one thing about this closet, which is my only gripe, is that there's not enough natural light. There is one window up there, which we've blocked, but that's because I don't want sunlight. Sunlight can damage bags, but I don't want it to, you know, wreck my boxes. You can see I put all my, a lot of my Hermes boxes, not all of them, up here just for display because orange is such a happy color and I love orange. So just very quickly, I've just kind of done it sort of by color order. As you can see, these are sort of like the pinks and reds. This is my black shelf. And then down here, I've got greens, blues, creams, grays. And on the bottom shelf, I've got like the neutral colors, though, like tans, beige, and just, you know, orange and yellow down the bottom there. And another question, which I always get and I want to address is what I use to like stuff my bags. So I usually just use air paper or tissue and I just stuff them in the bags. But for my very, very special bags on my Birkins and Kellys, for example, this is my black Birkin here. I always use my inserts. You guys know that I've talked about 7RP inserts for ages. I've been using them for like almost three years now. I love this contrast. So I just store them and I keep them in there. I get asked that question a lot. Do you leave your inserts in the bags? And for my Kellys and my Birkins and Evelyn's, yes, I absolutely do. I thought it would be really great to share with you is if you look here, see my boy, how the top strap, I have sort of protected the handles. Something that I want to show you is I actually use seatbelt covers and I'll link them in the description box, which ones I use, but basically you can use any ones. And they just have this elastic here and I wrap it up and it protects it from uh, denting the bag. So if you look at the boy here, this chain is not denting the bag. So I've got it on this bag here. I've also got it on my Gucci Marmont. So it does not wreck that at all. I haven't done it on my lighter colored bag, but that's because I want to buy the lighter color seatbelt covers to put on my gorgeous. This is my boy jacket here. So I would be doing the same thing for that. But otherwise, as you can see, even with my Loewe, it's usually just stuffed with tissue paper or just air paper. So this little ornament I have to mention is something that my son bought me. It represents him and his sister. They have such a good relationship and I love this so much. It's actually titled Brother and Sister, so it always just kind of sits here. And as you can see from my bag collection, there's a variety of brands. You can see Hermes. Look at my charm there. This is Miss Poppy. And this is my new Constance in Rose Sakura. This is my beautiful bag that my mother-in-law passed down to me. And if you come over here, this is my latest um, bag from Chanel, which is the reissue in size mini my mini Kelly. So I love mixing vintage. There's some vintage pre-love pieces as well. So that's vintage. Going across here, yeah, you probably see Hermes and Chanel. I have the most of. And surprisingly, I also get asked a lot, Mel, out of all your Hermes bags, what do you use the least? And 
it's actually my it is gorgeous and classic and stunning it's my black birkin with the gold hardware the most iconic you know colorway and i don't know i think i just love color more and because i've also got my black kelly which i I named Miss Annie, which hubby got me. If I do pick a black bag, I tend to go for that bag here. So I have been umming and ahhing about maybe selling this. Uh, if you guys are interested, email me. I wanted to go to a good home, and I know a lot of you love this combo because you can't go wrong with black and gold. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure what price I'm letting it go for, but I know resellers are selling it for like way over 20000 That's not what I would do, but anyway, for really interested parties, do email me at just askmelanmelbourne at gmail.com. But yeah, that's my least used Hermes bag, surprisingly. So yes, I'm still thinking I am admittedly a little bit of a hoarder. I like to keep my things. That's why I get emailed nearly every week, Mel, are you selling your bags and everything? So yeah, I've been thinking about this for a little bit. My beautiful Lady Dior, which is here and uh it's special strap is just out the back there somewhere this one you do need to balance quite a bit and then down here this is the my cult guy uh you know uh box clutch and i just love that it looks like green marble my very first birkin which started the whole craze uh this is my miss mally my mallet kit still it's like a forever bag for me and yeah and then my kelly 25 i love okay i could go on my bags for a long time but there's just a whole different variety and even this kelly here even though it's really big i love this bag so much like see that's how i store it with all the dust bags inside and yeah it's just it's a bigger bag but don't get rid of all your big bags yet guys i know mini bags are in but big bags will come back round and let's just move here. This can't store all my bags. So if we go to this section here, I've just got a few more other bags here. I've got my Sen Rev bags. I've got my Louis Vuitton Crossette. Some more bags at the back. My Gucci. And these are just my seven RP inserts because I have extras. And oh, I also asked 7RP because I've had so many of you sort of message me and say, oh, Mel, is your gift code active? And then I said, can we do something special for the fam to celebrate that you guys have reopened? And they said yes. So if you are interested in any of these inserts, they do inserts for Birkins, Kelly's, Evelyn's. I highly recommend them. I've actually done a comparison video between these inserts. And look, I still have my Forby. This actually costs me a lot more. And yeah, I just never use it now. So yes, I've got three special offers for you. If you buy one insert, if you put MIM Closet 25, you can get 25 euro off. Or if you want to buy two inserts, so any two, it's MIM Closet 70, you can get 70 euro off. But a never before done code is if you want to buy four inserts, you can actually get 160 euro off. So that's never been done. You just put MIM Closet 160. And I also get asked, Mel, can you use these inserts in other bags? They are specifically designed for Birkins and Kellys, but of course, you know, you can use them in bigger size bags, or I've even used some of my smaller ones, like this, this one in my smaller bags, on my Givenchy Antigona, or, you know, even my Gucci bag. So yes, they can have dual purpose as well, if you want to take up that offer. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. Um, I just love them a lot. And you guys know I'm always looking out for you and getting gift codes. So anyway, if we go to this bottom shelf here, and thank you to my amazing husband who's helping me film this at the moment. This is some of my vintage uh, Chanel jewelry. I've just got it on this tray, which uh, I can't remember where I got it from, but if I find it, I think my friend got this for me. And then this is just some of my more fashion sort of jewelry here. And yeah, it's just all the dangly, blingy earrings. Those two are art pieces that, you know, a subby gave to me. So thank you so much, Saval. Those are just sort of miscellaneous um, perfumes. I'm not sure what to do with them, but in this closet tour, I have, I won't be showing you all my perfumes actually. There's more to do so and in this drawer here i've just got some of my scarves some of my designer scarves just folded um, the rest are with hubby so this is not everything these are just other scarves which are not branded 
And then these, the bottom two drawers are just miscellaneous, so I don't really need to go through that. are like my I don't use these bags at all that's why they're in their dust bags but yeah this like for oops for example this bag here this was like my first Gucci hobo bag like from I don't even know 15 years ago but I don't want to get rid of them I still love them so they're just stored here for now because I have this extra room here and this was just something from my mother-in-law which I very much appreciate Okay, let's move upwards here. Okay, so this is where I hang all my jackets. One of my favorite jackets is this Gucci jacket here, which I bought a couple of years ago. It's just so classic. I love it. And I've just got my jackets also organized in color sort of order. I, I love this one. This was really inexpensive actually. And yeah, I wear this one heaps as well. I've also got my long really long dresses here I'm a big fan of lace as you know so these are not all my long dresses I must admit downstairs in the guest bedroom I do have some of my really formal dresses uh, in that closet as well but the ones I've been wearing a little bit more these are just those ones there here is just a little nook behind my door so there's actually two entrances to my walk-in closet and this is just from Ikea. It's from the kitchen section. And, I, and these S hooks are from there as well. But I find this the best way to organize my camisoles or singlets. And I've just got them in color order. So it's just really easy to take off. And I don't have to refold them. So I've just got them in color order from blacks, whites, and the nudes, which I wear the most. And then just color. So I just showed you this section here, which are my long jackets. And so let's move on to this section here, which are still jackets, which I've tried to do in color order. And I just use plain plastic hangers. I do know the velvet hangers are better, but I've had these hangers for ages, so there's not really any reason to change them. Though if I ever get a new closet, I probably would get the velvet hangers. And yeah, it's just um, some of the, my more casual jackets, bomber jackets, denim jackets, and there and then down here are my sort of tweed jackets a lot of them are just from Zara and this is something I bought from an op shop which is just like a faux fur this is from my mother-in-law and just some of my cat more casual sort of shirts and a couple of my suits but yeah just casual sort of like more workout jackets Okay, and let's move to this section here, which you have an, all these drawer units. And I've just got all my long sleeves folded up here. I'm not sure if I should actually put them into drawers, but here I've also got some of my classic Chanel beauties. And yeah, there are there is space, obviously, if I do get more, I can easily just put them like this. And you can see I can put another like two or three more but for now since I have a little bit of room uh, this this is how I've displayed them and so my medium classic flaps are there that's my small and these three are my rectangular minis and as I said my folded clothes and then in here it's just all my sort of t-shirts um, I just like to fold them up this way so it's easier to see and then in all these drawers, I've got all my sort of uh, jumpers, which I've been using a lot because it is winter here. So just all jumpers. And down here is just like, oh, I store my twillies in these boxes for now, which I just got from Howard Storage, I believe. But you can pick these up anywhere, even at Kmart. But yeah, that's just the easiest way I find to store them. So this is just a bit of a miscellaneous straw. Something stuck there and let's move over to the left and this section here is another long hanging section so i've got all my pants here 
from work pants to galot styles to skinny pants and then all my cardigans so I just go from light sort of to dark so yeah lots of cardigans this, this is another uh thrift store find which I actually really love this jacket and then I have got my long sleeve dresses here I love floral dresses no surprise this is this is um, my Zimmerman dress which I really love and just some, all my long sleeve dresses are here and I also really love Alice McCall so it's an Alice McCall top and um, skirt set so I love that too and I just have my this is what I wore to Hawaii uh, these are my four Hermes scarves I made into a dress I've just kind of left it there I haven't um, the rest of my Hermes scarves actually not here they're outside in my drawers but yeah I'm trying to find um, a solution for storing my Hermes scarves and underneath this section here this already came with the built-in closet is just some uh, space for shoes and up the top here I've just got all my ankle boots so I had to show this because this is a Dolce & Gabbana pair of heels look at look at the how intricate that is and then Dior boots <laughs> these are my like Chanel gum boots I bought them years ago in Italy so I haven't worn them in ages but I still really like them and then in this shelf here I've got a lot of my Christian Louboutins this is a super special piece I have not worn this no it's not this one this is actually specifically signed by Bonsieur Louboutin himself. It says two Mel, so it's personally signed, so I haven't worn them, but I really do like the shoe. And then my Pigelles, and these are like so comfortable. If you haven't tried these, you need, need to. I love them. Gucci Marmonts, I can walk all day in them. And then here on the bottom are just sort of like my wedges. Um, and some platforms and yeah I have a mixture of brands from Chloe where's this one Baba Bui Yves Saint Laurent yeah just heaps okay and then if I keep going up here so what I do is I keep my designer boxes the bigger ones on the top shelf as you can see so this section is my black and white my Dior book tote is there and then on the other side is that's my Loewe Fendi Dior that's another um, special design by Christian Louboutin it says don't touch Melinda's bag I had no idea what he was doing I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but I love it it's very special and then yeah it just goes all the way down This is another section that I tend to store my clutches and my SLGs. So up the top here, um, I can't remember where I got these dividers, but if I find them, I will link them in. And I just have my, this is one of my absolute faves. I've had this for ages, my vintage Dior clutch. I surely picked that up in an auction for like a hundred and something dollars years ago. And this is my O case. So yeah, this one, I actually bought this pre-loved as well. This is a Ferragamo. Forgot about this, um, that I had this Ferragamo and this is in Python. Or all, all along the top here are just like my clutches. In here is my Hermes Jiggy clutch. So love that. And if we go down to the second shelf, it's just some more space for bags because guys, I really need and I'm thinking maybe to convert one of my other rooms into like a bag and shoe closet but no plans yet but I'm thinking about it this Proenza bag love it it is super super durable and yeah so I've got my um, LV bag I love this bag as well yeah vintage Gucci again had this one for years before they reissued it Dior saddlebag another one I bought vintage 
and then check this out this is my SLG display and yeah it just sort of works for me and I like how it's sort of displayed these this unit here as you can see it's like a step ladder and it was actually I think it was for business cards I think I bought it from Amazon or eBay I can't remember but I think this is a really good way if you are like me and you like sort of displaying your items and I also get the question a lot doesn't your items get really dusty Mel I think in here because there's no like windows and stuff it doesn't get that dusty but I do dust in here every couple of weeks but it doesn't take me that long at all but yeah I love this sort of unit and as you can see it's mainly Chanel lots of Hermes so that is where my SLGs are. And then in this, this is just from, you know, your local stationery uh, supplier. These are used as, I think, for, yeah, stationery. So I just use these for my small leather goods. And these are a couple of my, these are so old, my, one of my first wallets. Look how erect it is. But I love this so much. I think it's like 15 years old. Don't really use my long wallets anymore mini pochette you know that's my fave slg uh yeah and just all my sort of like more little pouches and everything in this area and we go down to this shelf here you can see my speedy 25 bandolier and this is my little nano speedy which by the way guys you know i thank you so much for your votes once i do reach 200k i will be giving away an lv bag so do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and then the Alma BB, my son got me this as well with Mim on it. I think he got it for me Mother's Day a year or, so, or maybe two years ago. Pochette Matisse. This section is for my boots. No surprises here that I am a huge Stuart Weitzman fan. I highly recommend them. They are worth the money to me. And I've got the highest heel, which is the Highland. And the mid heel, which I can walk all day in. And yeah, behind this as well, I've also got another another tan pair. And this is just another pair of the Highlands. And then I just, to stuff it, I just use these plastic. This is a bit deflated. These are really inexpensive. I think a pair cost me like a dollar something or two dollars. So if I find them, I'll link them in for you as well. Obviously, you can buy a boot tree, but these work fine. And then, as you know, I'm not that much of a sneaker person, but these are my latest pair of Hermes shoes, and I have worn them. And yeah, I'm actually thinking of getting another pair of sneakers, and these are my Dior, Welcome Dior sneakers. And I also really like these Gucci uh, Prince Town loafers as well. So, and then if we move on, this is the last dedicated space for shoes, though I do have something else to show you guys. Please excuse the light. The one thing about my closet is that, yes, I wish it had better natural lighting. So Valentino Rockstars, I'm a huge fan. Fendi Calibris, Chanel Slingbacks, Espadrilles, my absolute favorite mules. I love the Chanel pumps. I would, I wear these ones the most. And if I see them again, I would definitely repurchase them. So this is a lot of my Chanel collection. Some of my Chanel strappy heels. And this is Chanel. This is an old pair of Gucci, Hermes jelly flats, and then my Chanel uh, sandals there as well. So this section here is all dedicated to dresses from strappy to sleeveless to my short sleeve dresses and as I said before those my long sleeves are here and so I always like different colored slips that I find them very useful. I've had this dress for years. Look at this. It's a little bit quirky and I also this I love this one too. This was something I picked up from a vintage store and it reminds me of the Dior Toile de Jouy sort of print. And yeah, just really like it. I've had that for years. And then if we move along, this is very special. These two dresses are actually from my mum. My mum wore it when she was in her early 20s. So yeah, I just love that I got a couple of pieces from her. Very sentimental. And if we move right along, uh, I've got my short sleeve. So this again is from Self Portrait. I find their cotton really thick and I just love their pieces. And then this is from 
This was one of my first Scanlon and Theodore dresses. Big fan of Zimmerman and big romantic florals. Again, you'll see florals. This is, I think this is just from Topshop, but it's one of my favorites. The material's really thick. It's in silk as well. Yeah, and if I just keep going on, it just goes from pinks to reds and some of my darker sort of black dresses for work. We have this section here which are all my sort of tops and again I've just arranged them by color order so all blacks you can see a pattern here all floral I love floral and yeah it just graduates I love sort of like silk organza all those types of materials again floral so I love my florals and then if we move down to this section, this is my section dedicated to just designer. So I told you guys that I was definitely investing in more designer ready to wear pieces. So over the past sort of three years, I've added to this, definitely want to expand this. I do have a couple of jackets that don't fit here, like my Burberry trench and my Gucci jacket, which I showed before. But here you can see that I've got my Balmain jackets, which I love. Oops. And... Yeah, definitely we'll add another one. Also got the Dior Classic Bar Jacket. This is just iconic. And the most famous Chanel Little Black Jacket. I'm so glad I added this. This is from the Paris and Rome collection. And it's just iconic. This is something that I'll be able to wear, you know, till I'm 70. I just think it's classic. And I probably haven't shown you my Chanel jackets. I don't have that many, but I do have this one, which I picked up. It's a vintage piece. And this is another classic one, but in white, which I love as well. This is a very funky one. This is from Saint Laurent. And I love all the different sort of badges. Very edgy for me, but I love it. I would wear it with like a chul skirt or something to make it a bit more feminine. And then I've got my Gucci bomber. My I, I picked this up from eBay. It was brand new. I got it for such a bargain. Yeah, just so many pieces, guys. And this is my Christian Dior, vintage Christian Dior um, find from, from eBay from a private seller as well. This is from Louis Vuitton. This is another piece my mother-in-law passed down to me. So very special. Yeah, so just lots. And then my T-shirts. And I love the designer t-shirts. I get a lot of wear out of them. So I'll definitely add to that. And then my last sort of like area for clothing is up the top. These blouses just continue. So as I said, I've graduated from black and grays, yellow. So we go reds here and, and then creams. Big fan of self-portrait and lace. Again, I think you are, you guys are seeing a theme. If we move to this section here, these are just some of my short sleeves. I love camis. Um, I love silk. So this is, you know, silk camisoles are always good for layering pieces. So again, oh, see, silk, silk, silk. So these are just my more sort of like dressier camis. And then finally, on this bottom row are all my skirts. So actually a few shorts here. I'm a big, I'm quite dressy. So I would say I have a lot of dresses and skirts. So again, organized by color order. So this is my Zimmerman skirt, which I absolutely love. Look at the detailing. Because it's been winter, I haven't actually uh, worn it that much. I think I've only worn it once. And this one here, this is called, my husband likes to call this my Ferrero Rocher skirt. But it's just a bit of fun. I think I picked it up from H&M years ago. And yes, so love pleated skirts as well. And, you know, chul skirts. So as you can see, there's a variety. Oh my goodness, whenever I wear this, I always get questions from you guys. This is actually I picked up from my trip to Korea. I wish that I could find it for you guys. If I, you know, knew someone in clothing manufacturing, I would make this skirt for you guys because I just love it because it's got this little bit of see-through mesh here and I just 
think it looks a little bit different from all the other pleated skirts. It's my most, one of my most favorite skirts. So sorry, I can't link it in. If I could, I would. And yeah, my denim skirt, some Zara skirts and lace, floral, floral, a bit of tweed, black. These are a couple of skirts I picked up in Malaysia. And those are all my skirts there. Final unit is where I store my jeans. So that's just a bit of a miscellaneous, my denim shorts. These are my white jeans, lighter colored jeans, black jeans, darker wash jeans. These are all my denim skirts, big skirt person, and uh, my mid wash jeans. In these drawers here, the top two, the top one is for underwear, which I don't think you guys need to see my underwear. <laughs> and then bras, I can show you this one. These are my bathers and yeah, just some cover-ups. And then in this drawer here is just, oh, my you know gym gear i have to admit i haven't used it that much but i do like to go on walk so you know my tights and you know my t-shirts and stuff so that is in that drawer there I was saying before that the space in my wardrobe which is dedicated to shoes it's not enough so I bought this rack uh, and it's just makeshift for now but as you can see I've completely filled it up and upstairs is all my designer shoes I actually do have more shoes yes Mel is a bit shoe obsessed but I did a huge clear out if you haven't seen that video I will link it above for you as well but these are all my designer shoes so a mixture Dior, Valentino, Giavinto Rossi oh, look at these jeweled Manolo Blahniks the hottest shoe of the moment the Amina Mwari shoes yeah so just all my jeweled shoes and as you get down the bottom these are you know, my Hermes Oasis, some Gucci's. Oh my goodness, I haven't even worn these. I love the color so much and I, they're so comfortable, but look, I haven't even worn them. I know that they've sold out. If you guys were after this, I'm just letting them go for the price I paid for them because I just haven't worn them. I think I want the emerald in the Manolo Blahnik. So, and yeah, they're very comfortable, but I haven't worn it yet. So I'm trying to be a little bit more ruthless. And then some Gucci's. These are my Gucci's. Gucci's. Oh, I have not even worn these. These are my Alexander McQueen shoes. Look at this. I Have I worn it? No, I haven't even worn it. But I still love them and I want to keep them. That's the only pair of Alexander McQueen's I have, actually. And yeah, here is just a mixture of brands from Marc Jacobs to Balmain, Prada, Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah, and it's just like a mixture. And guys, this designer shoe collection is a collection over like at least 15 years. So yes, I've got a lot of shoes. And then if we move just to this bit here, so this rack is movable. I just move it from section to section. But if you move over to this part here, so this is my second entrance. As you can see, there's another doorway here into my closet. And this section here is just the replicated from the other side because I have another door. So Ikea kitchen. And these are all my non-designer belts. A lot of these belts are actually vintage. This is one of my most favorite vintage belts i love it this one makes your waist look really a lot more narrow and i've just sorted them in color order this is a little bit of a miscellaneous board hubby made this for me oh goodness maybe 12 years ago i had a smaller version i made myself and these were just earrings from i don't know so many years ago but some of them have sentimental value a lot of them i have actually given away or donated but these are some of the ones remaining now let me show you this wall. And this guys is my necklace wall. Says someone who never wears necklaces, but I would say 10 to 12 years ago, I was a huge necklace person. And for those of you that weren't aware before, and a lot of you may know, I was like a handbag shoe accessory buyer. So a lot of these were given to me. This was just an idea at the time and it's still fun. I've left it here because Miss S likes coming here and just 
you know, go in front of this mirror. This is a mirror here, guys, which I, you know, love. And we just installed that. And yeah, she just likes coming here sometimes with her cousins and they just play with my necklaces and I'm fine with that. Um, she loves coming into my closet and I want her to feel like it's enjoyable because a lot of these things are going to go to her as well. So yes, I don't use a lot of them. There's some that I still definitely love and use. This is a vintage piece. I love this. It's so intricate. I found this years ago and I still love it. So there are certain pieces here I still do wear, but as you guys know, I'm definitely more of an earring person. But I'm, I've just left this here because I think it's quite impactful. And then when you see it um, with the mirror and the reflection, it looks like it's double the amount of necklaces, as you can see. that is it guys i hope you enjoyed my long awaited closet tour it's definitely the not the most glamorous wardrobe but i'm so appreciative of it and it definitely works for me and if this scene looks familiar it's because on instagram if you haven't followed me this is my instagram handle here i have unboxed here with my shoes so sometimes i like to change it up a bit and this is also where on the three levels i take my instagram pics here which works really really well and also if you did want to make use of the offer with 7rp that you can insert my special MIM closet gift code, you can get up to 160 euros off. So I will leave it all down in the description box, but I can't highly recommend them enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed my closet tour. If you did, do show me some love and give this video a big thumbs up. There are a few categories missing from this closet tour, which the outside in my main bedroom, I have this gorgeous drawer and I'm in the process of organizing the drawers. So I still have all my designer Chanel earrings, all my designer earrings, my designer belts, um, Hermes scarves, sunglasses, perfume collection, those things you haven't seen. So I probably will get asked, where are those items? If you're interested to see a tour of that area, do comment and let me know below. But thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your patience. It was so highly requested, so I wanted to do it. So thank you so much for watching again, guys. Big kisses, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.